Hello and welcome to this particular series. Here we are going to talk about data science. And in here we will going to talk about very much in detail. First of all, what is data science? After that, we'll talk about what is the future of data science? What all different options we have or different tools we have to achieve that? Also, we are going to talk about why data science is required and a lot of different things in detail. But before that, let me introduce myself. I am Rahul Tiwari. I have 14 plus years of industry experience. I work for companies like Accenture, Capgemini, Tech Mahindra, Deloitte, and currently a founder of Cognitive Analytics Private Limited, also working for Raw Mind Analytics as a director of analytics. I worked on various tools and technologies and various clients. I have expertise in finance, life sciences, and also on the telecom as well as retail domain now what i want to talk about here is before i jump to what is data science and other stuffs i just want to start a i would say a base i want to create a base so that you will be able to understand what we are going to talk about and what is at what direction we are going before i jump to any detailed topic i will definitely ask why data before data science why data people are talking about data like data is the fuel data is this data is that lot of things why suddenly this is coming up i think data was there 10 years back as well it's not like data is coming now then why suddenly this is coming up the only reason is that absolutely the only reason is that hardware cost reduces drastically if i talk about if I think about my childhood at that time, I was dealing with floppies and uh, 4 GB, 6 GB, 10 GB, 8 GB uh, pen drives, right? And it was costing a huge, it was a huge cost for us. Also, if I talk about my first monitor, I can say first machine. So I was, I think if I remember the RAM, which I had was 512 MB RAM. If I talk about today, we have a RAM of how much in this laptop i have 16 gb ram in a mobile i have more than 2 gb ram and this is like what what's going on and that is because the cost reduces if i talk about cloud again aws google platform azure they are giving lots and lots of space with just a few dollars and lots and lots of processing power in just a few dollars and these are some of the things because of that Companies are expanding and putting more data in the data lakes, data warehouse, and actually exploring that to come up with the insights. During this entire series, I'm going to talk about my experiences with various clients, and also we'll see what all data science architecture we have, a lot of cool things we are going to talk about in detail. If you want to be a data scientist, some of the key skills are very much required. The first one is a beautiful data visualization tool, that is Tableau. Once that is done, again, one of the most powerful programming language, Python. Very easy to learn, very simple to learn. Then we have AWS, which is again very much required. The only reason is that if I want to move everything from on-premise to cloud, in that case, we will require AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform. But AWS has a good market share and more companies are very much aligned towards AWS. So that is the best to learn. And then Alteryx is an ETL tool which is helping us to clean the data. And these are the four tools I would definitely recommend you to learn. But at the same time, SQL, structured query language, a knowledge of database is very, very, very much required because you are getting into data world. So all these things are very much required. And this is what kickstart your journey for data science. But at the same time, one more thing is very important for us is that is statistics and mathematics. We have to aware on the statistical concepts, which also very much important to analyze and do some predictions on the data. Very, very important. So if I sum up for data science, we will require some skills of technologies, Tableau, 
AWS, Alteryx, Python, and SQL. Mathematics and statistics is required as well. And at the end, you will require a domain knowledge as well. So I hope this makes sense. This is just a very first video we are coming up with. In the next video, we are going to talk about why companies are required data science, why they want to implement data science in their data. So hope to see you in the next video. Till then, happy analyzing.